Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more insurmountable. We are on the final mountain of normal difficulty with the scientist character. Basically, what I'm getting at is we're we're at the final mountain for about as easy as the game can get. <laughs> like, I guess it's kind of it's interesting. It's sort of like a campaign because each mountain is sort of like its own individual run. But in a much more real sense, the run does seem to be traversing all three entire entire mountains. So we are almost almost finito with our uh, our original run here. To catch everything up here, also to catch myself up since the last time I recorded was uh, before the weekend. We've got a just like a million tents and a charm that makes it so. We have reduced energy cost on all terrain, but we do lose sanity. Uh, so this is a situation where it probably would be best for us to not use the Thunder Charm. But, like, I don't really feel like... I don't really feel like sacrificing a, a whole lot of this other stuff right now. Minus energy cost on terrain. Like, so... As soon as we can use one of these things, I will probably take off this Thunder Charm because... We are uh, we're losing quite a bit of sanity, just to, just quite quite a quite a bit. I think that that's going to be a, a really big resource for us to care about uh, and worry about right now. Um, as far as yeah, like I I wish I could just store this somewhere. I could I guess I could go for the hot tea. We could go for the hot tea. All right, fine. Hot tea. Put that there, uh, and then. Maybe we put on the gloves. Like, I don't think we need to be so stingy with our energy when we have three tents. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I was getting at last time there. Uh, so, it seems to think, yeah, that this is going to be the best direction to go. I think I, you know, I think I'd agree with that. Anyways. Uh, bup, bup. Okay, so what does it look like if we go up there? It's 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 not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh, we are losing quite a bit of temperature right now. I guess that's just because it's nighttime. Uh, boy, howdy! I think that that's just gonna have to be fine, right? So yeah, look, our our sanity is still it's still going down relatively substantially. I th I think that that is going to be. Certainly the big old bottleneck. We have, uh, we actually have a way to just sack. Oh my god, of course. Extra energy cost on all terrain. I'm gonna take the time here to, to do a little focus. So it is apparently cold now. But... Not so cold that we're really... It seems like we're maybe losing more. We were maybe losing more. Okay, so minus energy cost on all terrain for us to get up there. Maybe you're losing more at night. The nighttime, uh, nighttime when the cold weather is going to be a problem. Dig out the chest, continue my journey. I will dig out the chest. You find a vacuum flask filled with tea. This is very much exactly what I would would like. But again, I uh, I'm not sure what to sacrifice when we when we end up using our tent. We'll be in a better spot for our inventory space. I will take this for now. I will take it for now. We'll get on up here. Uh, sanity. Recovering sanity is very much something we are, are going to want to look into. We could spend time for experience, but I think we just don't get quite enough. Health or warmth. That's a tough one, I because health, it's like, that's, a, that's our big finite resource. We are missing some. Warmth. We are losing it. This is actually very tough. We have a clear way to regain our, our warmth right now. What does this look like? Can't get up through... Wait, can we get up this way? No. There is a cave there. 
a whole bunch whole bunch of supplies. Is this really the best way to get there? Climb down. Climb up. Climb down. Down. Climb up. So down. Up. Down. Or down. Up. Down. Same. Same either way there. This looks like generally the same amount of, uh, of uh, a jump as well. This is not great, but it's just going to have to be good enough, I guess. When we get to 6,000 feet, that's when uh, that's when it's going to get a little bit sketchy. I will potentially want to go for the oxygen mask instead. Look, we have the oxygen mask, right? Or maybe our oxygen pendant. Like, I don't know which one we're going to want to go with. If we have a good way to truly remain warm, then that kind of thing is going to be an okay trade. Okay. Out of nowhere, a stranger suddenly appears. He's clad in furs and his face, just visible amidst heavy garments, looks sallow as you approach. He pr uh, prof proffers a small parcel wrapped in leather. You find provisions inside. You look up to the stranger, but he's vanished. I <laughs> How is this in a parcel? Uh... Okay, so yeah, I, 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 it's hard to tell, but I replaced those, I guess. I, I might as well replace the one with three there. I, I feel like we actually have... We're getting too many tents. Should we bother? Let's bother. Let us bother. Again, we, like... When we get to six thousand, it's it's gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit sketchier for sure. Cannot believe your eyes a fallen antenna is blocking your path. Take a detour, continue the journey. Climb over the antenna, continue your journey. Stay and look around. You are certain that the antenna is from years from the years of occupation, pro presumably some kind of radio relay station. What was it used for? While you're pondering the question, you spot some provisions that may have been left behind. Oh my God, our heat has been absolutely shredded. Oh no, and the oxygen tank takes up so much space too. I'm gonna go for the energy since we really do have, um... oh no. Wait, hold on. Is there a way, to... well, is there a way to, to actually do this properly with all of these tents? Oh, no. I don't... <laughs> I don't know if we can Tetris this. I don't think that... I don't think that there's a way to Tetris this. I'm certainly seeing the downside of these, um... I think that we can maybe ditch these gloves. I, I, I actually think we can ditch those gloves. I really do. And we can take off that. At this point, I, I think that we have some good stuff. I don't think that the gloves are what we're going to utilize here. All right. Our temp. Our temp is a problem. Uh, tomorrow it's going to become clear, though. Which is really nice. Oh my god, is it nice that it's going to become clear. Because... It makes sense that we're we're tanking our uh, our coldometer right now. It makes a hell of a lot of sense. It's cold and it's nighttime. We could get some more tea flask. That will be very very crucial. I think. Like, uh, I'm gonna follow the smell here. Okay, return to the cave entrance. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, the reason that it makes it look like we're losing less is because we're actually going to start gaining it. So I'm literally just going to stay here to to pass some time. We probably should have just used this here. Uh, all right. So in theory, we should start. What happens if we do that? Yeah, we really have to go all the way up and all the way down. But we're really not losing that much. And again, energy is not really that big of a problem. 
Uh, but this should be good. I feel like, uh, yeah, and the weather being clear for the next day, or not clear, but being a storm for the next day is not too bad. Search for clues as to who is buried here. You carefully nudge the rocks with your boot. There's something here. You bend down to find some usable equipment. Another mountaineer must be buried here. You have lots of questions. No answer. How do they know about the island? What happened to their companion who buried them? Okay, we lose a little bit of sanity. You ask an unknown climber for forgiveness. You're, you are sure they won't hold a grudge against you. After all, they have no use for the equipment anymore. What you do... Okay, minus 15% time cost on flat and climbing. Oh my god. It's just a much better tool. It is just like a much better tool. All right, increase sanity gain in events, reduce energy costs on stone, spend some body temp to increase oxygen. Huh. I would I would love the reverse. I also have some concerns about my sanity. <laughs> uh, me too. Okay, cool. I don't feel like I need to go for stone mastery. That much I'm pretty confident with. I'm also not too worried about our... I'm not that worried about our action. At the very least, I'm not that worried about it. Hmm. Time to heal wounds is actually, like, pretty cool. Fourth, a fourth. Ooh, a fourth of our heat bar to improve 10%. Hmm. That is... This is a tough trade. I, I guess I'm going to go with open-minded because it, it, it does pertain to one of the resources that we are lacking a little bit more. I do not believe you on this body temperature situation. I don't believe you at all. How long does that take? Basically three hours. Let's do it because we might hit an event that's going to pass time anyways. You, you know, you, ne you never can be too sure. Sometimes there's things that last end, like, end up lasting like eight hours or something bonkers like that. So I'm keeping my mind open. We're not, we don't have a very clean way of getting here. We'd have to go all the way down around and all the way back up. Unless we wanted to loop back down around this way and go up, which is possible. Backpack contained under or concealed under a thin layer of snow. Blue blueprints. Blue boot prints lead away from a spot in a zigzag pattern and disappear behind a rock. Uh, I'm gonna follow the tracks because energy it's much easier for me to deal with. You spawn a tent shelter from wind beyond two sheer rock faces. You hear a loud snoring coming from inside. You cautiously approach. Suddenly, a bleary-eyed, haggard face pops out of the tent flap. The snore smiles at you as they spot. Okay, as they spot the backpack in your outstretched hand, they take the backpack and reach inside, rummage around, pull a can of food, which they offer to you. You aren't sure if you should accept the gift. After all, the stranger is as thin as a rail. Ooh. Uh, thin as a rail, but probably needs the food more than you do. Bonus sanity while moving, and then plus 50% sanity gain in events. I think we go for that. Uh, another benefit that we can say about that is that... Um, we it does it's a benefit that does not take an inventory slot which is something we should probably be excited about okay hold on do we have are we losing sanity from some other means no no we're not hmm we are not well at the very least we're losing less you know that's Often worth it in and of itself. Our body temp is going down. Let's do it. Let's do a little a light sleep. Okay. If fear stabs your heart. You cannot stand in the darkness any longer and want to return to the light. Oh shoot. Okay, I was not expecting that one there. Uh Yeah, let's, let's hit it. 
all the way. All right. So, we are in a storm, which certainly looks like something that would affect our temp. But it, as far as I'm aware, it shouldn't. Weather cold. Yeah. Energy cost, time cost. It's certainly a bummer. Sanity back. All right, let's, uh, we shall eagle eye ourselves out to the, oh my god, it gets it's truly impossible to see. If I click up there, it does want us to go out up and to the left. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Right click there. Is this a dangerous event? There's only the one. I mean, this is every four hours, though. Let's just do it, you know? It might be... It might be good. Okay, we'll head up here. We are gaining warmth, and we are... We are barely losing sanity. Barely, 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 barely. Okay. Looking fairly juicy over here. Is it worth it? I think so. We, we climb up there, and then we pop back down. It seems worth it enough to me. No events up there. All right. Let's do it. Ready in 19 minutes. Let's, uh, we'll stop right before... No, 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 no. We want to, we want to save that. We are about to do something much stinkier. Why is our sanity so messed up? We are also about to enter the death zone. Potentially right here, if I'm being real. Yeah, why is our sanity starting to plummet further? Like, I guess, uh, is it basic values? Yep, minus one sanity while moving. Very eerie, yeah. Night minus five body temp. Yeah, I don't I don't know what uh, what would have changed the amount because we still have the buff, don't we? Did the buff go away? I think the buff just went away. That's I guess that's why. That would do it. All right. Well, this uh, this special event here, we might get lucky. Okay. Take a quick look around. A couple of empty bottled oxygen tanks. All right, I'm going to do a quick look. Okay, it is a very disappointing situation, it, and it's understandable. Just thought, um, since heat is a much more finite resource for us than something like energy, you know, and we we are going to lose heat by kind of walking around. Heat or health or energy. Steps have been hewn into stone leading to a pedestal of sorts, some type of religious site or shrine. We will go for HP. We have gotten that one before. All right, uh... We're close enough to actually see this pretty smoothly. Okay, let's get here before we pop. Oh, you hear it? Oh, okay, so we got hit in the torso. I'm really glad we did, you know, at least get to heal our HP up a little bit. Soon we will want to use our... I guess we'll use our flower now. I, I forgot that that even uh, did penalize our sanity or our HP. All right. Guaranteed. We will uh we will be entering the death zone. Uh at, at like this height. I mean, if I knew that this height right there Okay, well first of all, let's just let's get up that way anyways. It's just going to it's much less. It's a little bit more time, yes, but it is. Uh, it is much less of an energy sink. And the thing is, like, we do have to care about. Oh, is this not technically? Ah, it is at the death zone. Okay. Um. 
energy cost on all terrain, HP, and bonus oxygen per hour while moving. Only when moving, though. I'm going to go for this because it means we can handle more penalties. Um, yeah, our heat. Our heat is actually the problem, though. So. Mm hmm. worth it takes like four hours let's say sure let's do it it's supplies it could it could be uh i'm not going to take the rest because i think that well first of all we would start to lose quite a bit of oxygen we don't want to spend a lot of time up here you know so if we're going to be stopping to heal in that way I think that it'd be in our best interest to make sure we are getting, we at the very least really need the energy. Because we have tents, you know? We lose no sanity. We lose barely any oxygen. Okay. Outlines of monoliths, arranged in circular patterns. Some of them collapsed, broke to a thousand pieces. I feel like I remember the reward for this was really good. Okay, I, I think that this is a worthy trade. Uh, with the with us getting this event payout, I think that sanity is now not going to be an issue for us. At the very least, on the way up. The very least on the way up, sanity will not be an issue, is my, my big old guess. Boy, howdy. What is this, 19 to get that back? It's just not... It's not going to be worth it. I don't love this. I do not love this. Body temp. I can't afford to do it. Cross. You cross safely. Oh... I, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of, uh, of pure actual HP here, seeing as the fact that we are we are near full. Yes, I know it can go bad fast, but it, it is a resource for us to utilize here. It is a cold day. The cold night is really going to be the big concern. We have so many of these. Is the cave... Is the cave, like, a lot warmer? God, I, I don't like this method of getting to it. It's very stupid. Is the cave, like, significantly warmer? Follow the light. Not, okay, it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. Happily. It is not it is not any warmer. I'm really, really banking. Really, really banking on this nice day. Helping us out with our heat. It is so crucial. <laughs> so, so crucial. This is not great. Again, we don't have we don't have any heat anywhere, do we? We have we have the warm cap and we have the fur gloves on, and we are still we are still feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Uh, our oxygen is much worse than I thought, too. 
This is not looking as good as I thought it was. All right. I mean, I, I don't know what I, I I don't know what to say about that heat there. There's nothing we can really do. The sanity's not going to be a problem. The oxygen, the oxygen will become a problem because since we ate our food and we did not like, we really should have saved that for the mountain peak. Ugh, okay. No! It's your rush to the deer stand, rumbling of avalanche, contrendos. Finally managed to dig yourself free of the massive snow. Your whole body is shaking. The cold is unbearable, but you can't stay here. That is um, absolutely one of the last things we needed to happen to us. Okay. So we have now entered... Okay. Ugh. Oxygen, sure. We've entered uh, the point where we will... Okay, we have two days of clear weather. The nighttime is still going to be bad. So temperature is not going to be an issue for a little bit. Energy is, though. I'm going to sleep for a small amount of time. Maybe? We do need to just... We do need to just get a move on. I like the idea of that. And we will use... This as we get closer about like right... And then we'll, we'll sleep the night away through there. It would be nice if the cave provided, like, a fraction. Like, it doesn't have to be a lot, but, like, it'd be nice if, if it provided, like, 0.5 heat. You know, just, like, just like a fraction. All right, so we will pop that bad boy on. Three hours 20. Probably should have popped it on here instead, then. In that case. Okay. It's going to hit nighttime. Oxygen currently is my concern, I think. Since I see the next day is going to be clear. He... Oh. That is annoying. That is very annoying. It's dark. We can't see anything. Well, we get some free experience. There's not really a, any problem with that. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. The oxygen. The oxygen is a concern. I can't really afford to... Uh... Can't really afford to sacrifice my heat right now. We are out of oxygen tanks, yeah. Plus one oxygen when moving, minus two body heat when moving. Oh god, oh no. That's basically nothing. Okay, we can handle that. Maybe, just maybe, just maybe, just maybe, we can get some kind of oxygen. Spot a backpack dangling from the upper branches of a skeletal tree. A few monkeys are clambering against the bows. Bows. <laughs> they screech at you as you approach. This is against... Against my better judgment, I'm doing this. After monkeys finally move on, you pull the backpack down from the tree. Find a better equipment inside. This is all just while climbing. I mean, we might as well take it. 
if we wanted to, you know, like min max. We could a bit. Like, theoretically, we would switch this for the flat terrain there. That literally didn't take energy. That is crazy. Yeah, I... The reason I'm so hesitant here is because all this seems, like, really bad. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna make my way down here. I see, I see oxygen issues in our future for sure, because as we have to sleep, like I'm, the heat is looking like it'll be a, yeah, maybe not even. I really don't know. I really don't know. Getting back down. Examine the corpse. Free the corpse from the ice. I mean, I have no choice but to accept this now. Oh, oh. Big oxygen up. Well, there's no reason to have this then. Maybe we can get lucky with this level up now. Gain energy at a point of interest. Weakens the effect of... Oh, cold weather. Of cold weather. That is super relevant for the near future. And if we put, if we take that, that we can put on the charm and the cold weather will only have 0.5 effect and we could save some oxygen that way. Or we just take the guaranteed net gain, guaranteed net gain of oxygen. This helps us while we're resting. This does not. Oh, this is so tough. I can tell you it's not these things. Because I don't have any oxygen bottles right now. If I did, maybe. But I don't. This is not it. It's, it's, yeah. This is really effective for tomorrow. This is effective forever. I feel like there's more events that give us warmth than there are events that give us oxygen. Uh, yep. Oops, don't. I almost started walking when I didn't want to. We're having trouble seeing the peak now. But it's because we're so close. Oh god, everything is such a such a backtrack. You know, I energy is not my biggest concern. So I think this is just fine. We're, we're gaining heat, so here's what we're going to do. Let's just not. What does that make it do as a difference? I yeah, I would rather I would rather do that obviously. What does this do? Wow, we like really stop Losing that there. Um, but then it's going to be nighttime, and then it's going to switch to us running out of the body temp instead. Our sanity is pretty good, too. So what if we... Oh, boy. All right. I think this is... I think this is what I'm happy with. Uh, arguably. Arguably. Can spend some time for sanity. I guess. Stupid. Stupid, but boy howdy, right now we are in so much turmoil that I think it's important. I think it's really, I think it's very important for right now to make sure. Because, yeah, look at that. We, we, when we do this, we are literally losing actually zero energy. That is super important. Okay. 
And we're losing actually zero here. I mean, this this snow is easily traversable too. Like that's that is the thing. Oh my god, we are we are so close, so close. Let's walk to. Oh, we made a mistake. You know what? face my penalty I will I will force myself to min max that's my that's my downside that's my my problem there we're about to enter nighttime and then from here out it is going to become super problematic okay How long does it take? Two and a half. Boop, boop. Oh, can't get to that one. All right. Let's go. This is unbelievably tight. Oh, we're going for it. Oh, you know we're going for it. I, it really feels like we should sleep. We have so many tents, but like... They're not as useful as it seems. They're, they're obviously useful. Like, but... We haven't used one of these. What does it look like when we do this? It's just going to get worse, though. I think that the um, the cold daytime is not as bad as the normal nighttime, though. We're doing it. We're doing it. The oxygen, it, it's... We're, we're spending... We're deciding to spend a lot of energy and only a little time. That is what we are deciding to do here. Man, I wish we kept our food. How do we... Okay. Gonna have to sleep again. Body temp is problem. There's no reason to have that. All right, I'm banking on, on me being right about the body temp thing not being quite as bad right now. But we are wearing the oxygen mask instead. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's still, that is still too much for us, huh? Our, oh, no. No, the cold day is, is certainly significantly worse. I mean, what what am I supposed to do, right? Like, I gotta decide. Wait. Okay, that helps a lot. That helps a lot. That might be able to get us... We could maybe squeak our way over here. Because this is not nearly as bad as it seems. Yeah. We'll squeak our way right over there. We'll take a, a one-tile detour to maybe, maybe get ourselves a good resource that will get us, at the very least, up to the top there. You 
Use a stone to break the ice. That's always been good. Shards. Whoa, no. We find. Oh. No, it's never been a problem. Okay, so there we go. That is proof that these can go, even though they've gone well in the past, they can go certainly awry. Uh, it broke, uh, we, we shattered and uh, shattered the ice, but we are, we're bleeding big time. Minus 50, or a, a bonus 50% energy cost. Climbing all things for 24 hours. Everything here is a problem. It's going to become nighttime where it's just going to... Wait, the body temperature... Well, it can't go any lower. Just curious how this shakes out differently. All right. That's not enough to sink us. I mean, what can I do, right? Like, I kind of have to do this stuff. Man, that, that the icy day. We're so close. There's a cave there. Not that it really matters. We could maybe get a special event out of it. Oh, we would have to go up and then down. What happens? Let me guess. We have a we we start taking some red HP damage. I would rather like uh, my my heart is saying like what well, I'm facing no penalties for this yet. We've gotten no actual problems yet. My heart is saying having one bar in blinking dangerville is much better than having two. Which is much, much better than having three. Here it is. Oh, you're laboriously pulling yourself up a rock face when you feel pain in your chest. Quickly, you grip onto a protruding rock. The pain continues to travel. Dull burning first in your arms, then your throat, then your upper abdomen. Your strength is running out, but you can't stay here. Cold sweat beads on your foreheads. You're almost exhausted. Oh, no. My reserves are almost exhausted. I understand. What if... We now were to do a brief sleep. And we trade our resource that is depleted to uh, to body temp instead. Man, this penalty. How much longer? 15 hours. Yeah. Uh-oh. Cold creeps under your clothes. No! You notice a blush, bluish discoloration in your shin. Extends to your foot, turning red at the toes. Your skin is thin and covered in blisters. When you try prodding your toes, they ooze out a false foul-smelling secretion. Oh. Strange, it doesn't hurt at all. Should you be worried? Uh, Yes. Theoretically, can we actually block these? Are these the critical interruption events? Is that them? Did we switch back to our correct tool? I'm stupid. I'm stupid. This is... This is rough. I mean... We need to... We're at the tip top here. We want to min-max. Uh... I'm not sure if this is going to be something we want to do. I think that this is actually... It is... 
Okay, I mean, if it's just, uh, if it's just sanity. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! There's no, no chance though, man. No chance. At least we die on the beautiful peak. It's been an honor. A coughing fit racks your whole body as you trudge towards the summit. Crimson blood flecks your lips. There's no time to lose. You quickly pull your instruments out of your pack. Your hands tremble as you press the on button. You hear a beep and it doesn't change in pitch. The needle doesn't move. A wave of dizziness overwhelms you. Despite the icy cold, you're, you feel hot and flushed. There's a heat pressing against the inside of your skull and you feel like it's blowing your head up like a balloon. You need air. Your clothes are suddenly suffocating you and you want to tear them off. Suddenly, the beeping sound changes, surging and ebbing like a siren. The needle also starts to judder, then shoots off the chart. Your heart leaps with joy. The electromagnetic radiation is so strong that your instruments are going haywire. You found the source right where you're standing. This is the greatest triumph of your life. You can see the cameras, camera flashes going off all around you. Slowly, with a broad smile on your face, you bow to your audience as they reward you with a standing ovation. You've silenced the skeptics and ushered in a new golden age for the scientific world. We don't have to go... We don't have to go back down? We've done it? Oh my god, that is so unexpected. And thank God we don't have to go back down because we certainly would not have survived. I can't believe it. Congrats, you've unlocked hard. <laughs> oh no. Oh God. That was yeah. That was normal. Just out of curiosity, there there was a there was a difficulty past hard as well. I mean, I'm not gonna insurmountable oh my god yeah of course alas though that is that and that is going to do it here will we play more insurmountable i i guess i'm not i'm not sure it depends on uh, on excitement factor and everything i'll i'll analyze the my my goal was genuinely just to to come in and the very least do a couple episodes here uh and quote unquote beat it like all three mountains and we did do that Obviously, it was only on normal, and obviously, we didn't do a great job. But, uh, what else do you have? Okay, the, the journalist comes with... Wait, you had fur gloves, too. Minus energy cost on stone. Minus time cost when climbing upwards. They also start with some hot tea. But no tent. You dummy. What are you doing? Single-minded. Ignore... Wow, that is a good ability, though. Six hours of ignoring... Six hours out of every 24 hours, you can ignore both negative weather and terrain effects? That is fantastic. Also, sprint on the adventurer, I don't think I fully... Like, doing a full run and starting with the canned food, too. Like, doing a full run, I, am, I fully appreciate now. I, I think that this may be, like... Starting with the gloves is, uh, the warmth gloves is really nice. And then the flat terrain and everything. And analysis was decent. But I will say, from a, a mere glance, it seems like the adventurer really is, is very well kitted out. This sprint ability seems super effective. And so does the single-minded ability. Eagle Eye was nice. It's clear that it was like... I mean, this character has two abilities for a reason. It's because that it, on its own, it's not that impressive. And... Analysis was analysis was pretty decent. I think we probably have to give it more credit than we did. Just because it wasn't giving us a lot of XP later doesn't mean it wasn't formative for making sure we got enough passives early on. So that's probably another thing to think about. But alas, God, this game's good. I really, really like it. Uh, we may be back tomorrow with another run, probably with the with the journalist, or we, we may not. I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot play on hard with the journalist. Uh, we would have to beat a normal run first. 
But alas, alas, that is that. That is going to do it for today. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. Oh, it actually changes the character based off of which one you picked. Thank you, everybody, for watching, though. If you want more, you got to let me know with a like and a comment. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye.